So MC Box in here, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. So over the past two days, there's been a lot of interesting stuff. So I'm going to try and go over it uh, in a couple of videos. But the first big news is the DAZN platform that has been announced. As many of you know, it was launched yesterday. Uh, these are just a few details. I'll just go over it and I'm just going to highlight a couple of fighters that are on DAZN. Um, for all you don't know about it, it's a platform that would be showcasing boxing and I believe a couple of other uh, sports um, the platform will be launched um, subscription will begin September 10th and the first major event will be the Anthony Joshua Alexander Povetkin card that will be broadcasted live on Sky Sports but to US fans it will be available on DAZN there's a one month free trial that's available for you but if you do um, choose to keep the subscription thereafter it's only going to cost you $9.99 but for as many of you that are listening to the fanboys um, saying that it's going to cost you a lot more but there it is it's 9.99 um, and there you get to have a lot of championship fights and many more uh, content that's available for you but just going to go on to the next big thing is just about the fighters that have been announced on the zone um, and we're just going to quickly give you a quick background on those fighters many of you do know them um, the biggest name i believe probably on heavyweight division was just that is jerome miller Jerome Miller obviously is from New York, Brooklyn, New York, 6'4 heavyweight, um, the loud mouth, and there's also a couple of other things that went on in the release, but he's at 30, um, notable wins against Amarius Walk, who was just stoppage, I believe Walk has never been stopped before then, I think he's been stopped by Povetkin, let's see, I think he's been stopped by Povetkin, um, let's see it. Yeah, he's been stopped by Povetkin. And so second time he's been ever stopped is against Miller. Um, notable wins for Miller is against, uh, I guess, Wak, Cassie, Gerald Washington, and Yon Duopa. Um, except from that, Bo uh, Miller um, on box on Ring Magazine, I believe he is top 10 as well. And, and then there you have it. So that will be Hearns um, signing for heavyweight. Obviously, Joshua is also on the platform. But these are just the new signings for Matchroom USA. Um, now we'll go on to next is Demetrius Andrade. Um, Demetrius Andrade is southpaw middleweight. Um, notable wins in the division would we'll probably say Jack Kalke. Uh, I don't know if that's how you pronounce his name. He had a unanimous decision win over Atlantis Fox. Uh, Fox. Uh, Brian Rose as well was a TKO. That was a good fight. Well, it lasted. <laughs> and uh, Freddy Hernandez. But yeah, um, I guess uh, you could say that Andrade is pretty much one of the biggest names that has been signed. He's a really good fighter. People will probably say he's not been in with any um, significant uh, opposition yet. But I think he's a decent name. He's only 25-0. and 0. He's got 16 knockouts. He's got a really, really good left hand. And he's got that sort of Cuban-style counter-punching um, about him. So, yeah, definitely looking forward to what he can bring to the table. Um, and I believe right now he's the, he's the WBA. Um, he won the WBA Super uh, Welterweight, and he's a champion, I believe, the two weight divisions. So, yeah, definitely looking forward to what he can bring to the table. Um, next up is Orta Baterbiev. He's, he's a beast. Um, Baterbiev is 12-0, and, 0, and um, he is uh, definitely going to be a very, very good name. He's light heavyweight as well um, for the division. And he's up and coming. So, I mean, and he's all 12 KOs. His man's got really good power as well. Uh, his next fight is against Callum Johnson. I think Callum Johnson, he's not signed to Eddie Hearn as well. So, that'll be an interesting fight. Um, I, I'm not going to do a review on that yet. But, yeah, but Chubby has been doing his thing. Most of his fights has been in Canada. Um, and biggest names on the record, calling um, and uh, Preto as well as a Moderna. So there you have it. Bertebiev is on there. I don't know what his ranking on the Ring Magazine is. Um, let's see it. Ring Magazine ratings for um, and so let's see where Bertebiev is. It is in the top ten. Uh, so he's light heavyweight, I believe. Light heavyweight. 
Uh, let's see it. So top 10 on, so Kovalev is there. Boturbiev is number seven there. So just right behind um, Gvodzik, um, Badujak, um, Alvarez. So yeah, definitely he's a good fighter and that would be a good fight against Callum Johnson. Um, next up is uh, Daniel Roman. He's only he's the only guy with like with that. He's got a little blemish on his record. He's got two stoppages. I believe once against Manny Pacquiao. Uh, I might be wrong. No, Daniel Roman. Let's see. No, sorry, that's uh, someone else. Juan Riaz and uh, Takashi Okada. I don't know those guys, but yeah, Roman is pretty good. Um, I haven't really seen much of his fights yet, but he's fighting Gavin McDonald. Um, and next up here with KT, Jesse Vargas. Jesse Vargas, sorry, I was mixing Jesse Vargas for Pacquiao. So there's two uh, major losses against Timothy Bradley and Manny Pacquiao, and those were unanimous decisions. He's never been stopped. Um, I believe he's significant ways against Saddam Ali, uh, DeMarco, and uh, uh, this guy here. I can't remember his name. But I can pronounce his name. And then he, he had a split decision against a majority decision. That was a tie as well against Adrian Bruno. That was a good fight. Um, next up is Katie Taylor. She, I believe right now she's WBA champion. Yeah, at lightweight. I don't know if she's moving up in division. But, yeah, she's a WBA lightweight. And she's really been fast track as well um, through the system. But she's had a, a really good, really good amateur career. Um, and then next up here is Maurice Hooker. I haven't really watched a lot of his fights, so I don't really know much about him. But obviously, as time goes on, um, these guys, they will have a lot more exposure and um, we'll be able to see a lot more about them. Um, so yeah, next fight, biggest fight was biggest uh, terrifying And again, he was a split decision win. Courtney Jackson was a unanimous decision. But um, not really notable records, um, notable names on this record. But yep. Yeah. Those are the fighters, really. Um, let me know what you guys think about these guys. Um, there's also a lot more talk about uh, her and still signing guys like Jamal Charlo and Mikey Garcia. So there's a lot of people saying, oh, you know what? This year, this fight, the, the, uh, he didn't get Mikey Garcia. He didn't get Jamal Charlo or the Charlo brothers or whatever it is. It's just a start. These guys, they're still in conversation. Obviously, these guys want to see how successful it is. And I think this year is so significant. is the fact that the first fight everyone's going to be able to see is the Joshua Povetkin. And that's going to be Wembley. And I believe that's firstly a very good fight um, based on stylistically. And um, obviously, because it's in Wembley, Wembley is always like an electric atmosphere. So it's bound to get people to sign up. And secondly, I believe they'll be also also have access to the Boxing Super Series that starts, um, I believe, in, uh, in October. So, yeah, definitely. If I was in the States, I'll definitely sign up for this. Um, so let me know what you guys think about the lineup, about the fighters. Do you think uh, they're good fighters? Do you think um, they're going to be able to bring and raise up... Um, the profile of the zone what do you think about the zone platform um in general but yeah leave it all in the comment section it's mc boxing amount